What is post-colonial theory? Broadly construed, post-colonial theory is a theoretical approach in literary studies which attempts to critically analyze the global effects of European colonialism. It has developed out of the earlier theories of Commonwealth literature and Third World studies. And as is well known, this field of study breaks with the ideology associated with Commonwealth literature's unthinking claim that the cultural role of the Anglophone writers around the world is to enrich English literature. Most post-colonial theories considered Edward Said's seminal work titled Orientalism as one of the founding texts of post-colonial theory. In fact, much of the best works in this field of study has followed the original thesis put forward by Said on how colonial conquests resulted in an attempt to know and administer colonial subjects, which inaugurated the othering of the other, which generates the pervasive images of effeminate Indians, savage Africans, and inscrutably sinister Orientals that are so common in the literature of empire. Post-colonial theory takes many different shapes and interventions, but all share a fundamental claim, that the world we inhabit is impossible to understand except in relationship to the history of imperialism and colonial rule. The term post-colonial, however, can be a bit misleading. Some scholars understand it as the period following the independence of the former colonies. In terms of origin, the post-colonial began with colonization itself. And in geographical terms, it refers to a vast spatial unity. According to Ashcroft, Griffiths, and Tiffin, the post-colonial refers to all cultures affected by the imperial process from the moment of colonization to the present day. For this reason, Post-colonial theory aims to study the cultures and literatures of the colonies, such as India, Africa, Asia, Canada, Australia, and South America. And according to Ashcroft, Griffiths, and Tiffin, the literature of the United States should also be placed in this category because 19th century American literature was marked by an attempt to construct a canon that was not dominated by the English classics. In methodological terms, post-colonial theory tends to be dominated by the theoretical discourse associated with post-modernity, or in other words, deconstruction forms of Lacanian psychoanalysis, and forms of discourse analysis derived in part from Foucault. Also, post-colonial theory is dominated by the names of Baba, Said, and Spivak. <laughs>